your relationship with Bob Paisley. How yeah. grateful are you to, to him for what he did for you? Well, uh, if it hadn't been for old Bob, I wouldn't have been here. Uh, probably he was the one that signed me. Um, mind you, he got 10% VAT back for the transfer fee. <laughs> so he was OK. Uh, and when I got the manager's job, uh, it was spoken that Bob would, would be there to help me. Jeez, what an ally that was. To have somebody, that, in my opinion anyway, the most successful manager in Britain to be sat there helping you and on your side, I couldn't see how it could get any better alongside the other backroom staff. But old Bob is, um, is revered and rightly so here. But I don't think, I think they've fallen short in many, many cases that they could have shown a bit more recognition. No, no, the, no the fans of Liverpool Football Club, other people, for what the man did was unbelievable. Can you speak about Sorry, let's let's just, just ask the one more question because otherwise the time is Okay, a couple of things to touch on in the book. You, you talk about the youth system that Sir Alex Ferguson put in place. Did you think then that United were going to go on a run and, and equal Liverpool's record of, of, of titles? I didn't know what to expect. But you knew what to expect from Fergie. When he came here, he had a fantastic record at Aberdeen and he broke the back of the old firm up there. So you knew what he was doing. But I mean, it's well recorded that three years he's three years down the line it's a Mark Robbins header that helped to secure his future at Old Trafford and I said at the time that he'll, he'll go on and be a success at Manchester United I didn't want him to be this successful but um, you knew he was going to be a success because he had that, he'd that trait in him he, he was a fantastic manager at Aberdeen and he was going to bring it down here and once he got adjusted to it he was going to be successful and he has been